Okay, hi guys. Um, so this is going to be one last video before I have surgery tomorrow. Um, you're going to probably be seeing this after I've already had surgery, but I'm filming it the night before. Um, I'm working in my delusions journal. It's probably one of the few journals that I buy instead of just make. Um, I initially bought them to try and I really like the paper in them. Anyway, I'm working on my last two documented life pages. I'm not doing it actually as a planner, but I am um, following along with the prompts and the ideas and working in this journal anyway. So these two pages, one is supposed to be monochromatic shades of one color, and the other one is supposed to be um, do something with your name. So instead of doing the something with your name over here, I decided to do it here because there's some staining on this other page, but anyway. Um, I knew I wanted to do something with ink pads because I have a lot of old ink pads. I, as I said in the Get to Know Me video, I used to be a Creative Memories consultant. Maybe I didn't say it in there. I don't know. I said it in a video. Oh, I know. The punch video. Um, the experiment about sharpening by punches. Anyway, I have a bunch of... Uh, not Stampin' Up! Creative Memories consultant. But anyway, at that time I was very... I'm sorry. I'm very confused today. I haven't even had medicine at all. Anyway. Um... At the time I was a Creative Memories Consultant, I was very into scrapbooking, and one of the products I loved, and st I still love the company, is Stampin' Up! And I have a bunch of these little Stampin' Up! dots. Um, way easier to get a good selection of their colors by buying these little dots than it was, still is, um, instead of buying the big old stamp pads like these. I have a few of these, too. Um, and these are craft... These are just a plain not craft classic stamp. These are water soluble. These are not water yeah these are water based ink. These are dye. So I knew that if I could find them where I put them, which took me all day to remember where I put them, um, that I could do something maybe interesting with them. So this is the result and I'm going to do another one only I'm going to do the monochromatic page over here in all shades of blue. I'll show you how I did it but this is the result and um, I really like the way it turned out. So let me show you how I did that. On this one obviously I used a bunch of different colors. I started around the outside with the blue and then I did some different pinks and then the orange, I mean the yellow um, which mixed with the pink and made orange and I actually did a little bit of green on here which you can't even see um, but let's go over here and let's do the blue one okay so I'm gonna start I have all these different let's see can you see them on the camera well I've picked out all the different shades of blue and when I was in there I found these three baking memories little I'm assuming these are black or brown I don't know I didn't know I had them so I guess I'll leave them out um, these are all the shades of blue, and I know there's one teal in here. It's kind of a bluish green, but I'm going to use it in here. So I'm going to start with the darkest one, which is called Night of Navy. Some of these I've never even opened, so this is another reason to use these because, um, give me an excuse. And this is going to just be the background. I'm going to do stuff over it. I'll post the finished page to my Facebook page, but this background technique I worked so good the first time I wanted to show you guys how I did it. So I'm just going to start with the darkest color. Just be free with it. And when I did the other page, I worked from the outside in. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having some problems with my allergies today, and I can't take anything because it's a surgery tomorrow. This one is called Brilliant Blue. Some of these colors are probably discontinued. These stamp pads are so old. I'm actually surprised they still have ink in them. And they're not all dried up. I tried to get down into the other. Okay, this one is not quite navy. Taken with teal. Um, ballet 
gray blue tempting turquoise you knew that was going to end up on there somewhere didn't you it's a kind of a blue okay let's see brocade blue Bordering blue, like a blue gray. What is this one? Bashful blue. It sounds like a very light blue. Gotta open it. There we go. Uh, and bliss blue. Okay. I know it looks like a big old hot mess, right? So now I'm going to grab a baby wipe and with the baby wipe I'm touching and twisting and what that's doing is blending the colors. And sorry about that, the camera's like shaky, hang on. That's better. Let me move the book a little closer. So I'm touching and twisting. It's blending the colors and removing some at the same time. I'm not concerned about blending all the color. I just want to do it enough to make it interesting. And when I did it the first time, I kept changing the baby white to a clean spot. I'm going to just run it down the color of the center here between the two pages. There we go. I'm going to take the Knight of Navy and darken up the edges. Okay, then I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm just spraying into my hand some water into the palm of my hand. Again. Okay, you can already see what that's doing. And then blot. Look at that, isn't that cool? You can just do that and keep doing it until you're satisfied with the results that you get. It makes a really great background. And But remember, this is water-based ink, so it's going to move around. So before you do anything else to it, spray it with some kind of fixative. Um, whatever your favorite kind is. If you don't know, you can use Aquanet hairspray. Um, the cheaper the hairspray, the better it works as a fixative. They do make fixatives, and I do have Aquanet here, but I tend to use Spectrofix which I like, I'm a fan of. It's an all-natural, odor-free product, which means that I can use it inside without asphyxiating myself, and it doesn't make me wheeze. I have asthma. So um, this is what I will spray both pages with and let dry before I do anything else. Anyway, quick, easy, fun discovery of a background technique. I hope you guys can all find it useful. Don't forget to go out today and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. See you later. Bye.